532 is your time. Exactly one year ago today, Florida voters spoke out and voted to restore voting rights to convicted felons. But since then, there has been a whole heap of red tape hurdles exactly to clear before these men and women can get their voting privileges back at the booth. And today, the Florida Supreme Court will hear arguments over fines, over fees, and those felons have been asked to pay and what exactly they'll have to do to make sure they can get back to the ballot box. So Lana Harris joining us this morning with details on the legal battle, the players involved as well. Good morning, Lana. Good morning. Yeah, it was a win for all former felons at first until Governor DeSantis essentially kind of put the brakes on that for some of them, signing a bill saying that they would need to pay off all of the fines and fees that were associated with their incarceration before they could go vote. Now that may not sound like a big deal, but depending on what the crime is, these former felons could be responsible for tens of thousands of dollars in fines or fees. It's like if you had to pay off all of your student loans before you could go vote. In fact, with the stroke of Governor DeSantis's pen, 80% of the state's felons found themselves unable to vote once again. And as you know, Florida has a history of close races. We've seen our share of recounts, we all know, so every vote counts and we're talking about 1.4 million of them. That's how many former felons regain their rights to vote uh, when that amendment passed last year. So that's why advocates for felons and former felons sued the state, saying that their inability to pay should not be able to deter them from voting. Governor DeSantis then asked the Supreme Court to clarify the amendment, and today both sides will appear before court to share their arguments. So we are going to be following this, and we'll bring you the details of what happens today. Meanwhile, at 6, we're going to talk about more of those hurdles that former felons have to face as they're re-entering society and trying to pay uh, their bills and their livelihoods and, again, those fines and fees. Here in Jacksonville, I'm Anna Harris, First Coast News on your side.